Hey writer friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you the March Book of the Month pick. I'm so excited to be starting this new series where I just give a brief description of the book that we will be reading for the Diversity is Lit book club. If you guys don't know, I will link a video down below talking all about the video and up in the cards, but essentially we vote for a book to read by a BIPOC author and we read that once a month and then we have a discussion at the end of the month to talk about and gush about the book. I also wanted to shout out the creator of this shirt. The store is called Novel Creations and I really love the book with the magic coming out. I thought that was really cool. But this is a good friend of mine who is also one of the co-hosts of our book club discussions, Vanessa Marie. She is a wonderful person. She also has an author tube channel. So I will link her Teespring store and her channel down below. There are two reasons why I'm excited that it is finally March. And number one is that we can finally discuss our February book of the month pick, which was Wings of Ebony by JL. This book was awesome. I was on the street team as part of Rue's crew for the promotion of the book and I loved it so much. So I'm really excited that we'll, we will be discussing this. Our discussion will be here on my YouTube channel on Sunday, March 7th at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. I already have the video up so you can set a reminder, so I will also link that down below and up in the cards as well. I know I started this kind of book of the month announcement with our March pick, so I will just give a little bit of um, descriptions of the praise that Wings of Ebony received, which is on the back here. So Nicola Yoon says, the best fantasy novels invent alternative worlds in order to illuminate our own. Wings of Ebony is one of them, a bold, inventive, big hearted and deeply perceptive vision of a black girl's journey to reclaim her magic from forces determined to destroy her. The parallels to our current reality are unmistakable and the book brings us all a much needed ray of hope. I love that. <laughs> and then Saba Tahir says, Wings of Ebony is an intense page turner of a book about magic, sisterhood, community, and family, offering a richly wrought world, weaving together past and present with a rare blend of deft insight and keen humor that leaves the reader wanting more. So can't wait. If you haven't read it, there's still a week time for you to read this so you can be part of the discussion. All right. <laughs> Last but not least, I will be announcing our book club pick for March. This is what you all voted on in our Goodreads group. If you are not a part of the group, that's where we vote on the books we want to read each month. I am so excited to announce that our March pick is The Gilded Ones by Namina Forna. Look at this cover, another gorgeous cover. I'm super excited because this book was actually gifted to me from my good friend Phoebe Ross as part of the AuthorTube Secret Santa. So it was like, I was so excited that this was a pick because I knew I was getting it in the mail and I was excited to read it either way. So this, just like Wings of Ebony, is also a YA fantasy, and I'm going to read the inside flap. Um, skip ahead if you are not interested in learning the little blurb, um, but it usually doesn't give too much away. So it says, 16-year-old Decca lives in fear and anticipation of the blood ceremony that will determine whether she becomes a member of her village. Already different from everyone else because of her unnatural intuition, Decca prays for red blood so she can finally feel like she belongs. But on the day of her ceremony, her blood turns gold, the color of impurity, and Decca knows she will face a consequence worse than death. Then a mysterious woman comes to her with a choice. Stay in the village and submit to her fate, or leave to fight for the emperor in an army of girls just like her. They are called Alaki, near mortals with rare gifts, and they are the only ones who can stop the emperor's greatest threat. Knowing the dangers that lie ahead, yet yearning for acceptance, Dekka decides to leave the only life she's ever known. But as she journeys to the capital to train for the biggest battle of her life, she discovers that the great walled city holds many surprises. Nothing and no one are quite what they seem to be, not even Dekka herself. In this bold and immersive fantasy, a young heroine fights to save a world that would dare to tame her and discovers that she is her own fiercest weapon. Boom! Mic drop! Wow, that sounds so good. So, 
please, please, please join us if you're interested in being a part of this discussion, which will be at the beginning of April. Try to check us out for Wings of Ebony as well. Again, the link is down below to join our Goodreads group and to be able to vote on books. We also share a whole bunch of other good things, other book recommendations and fun little tidbits about the authors. And the Goodreads group is usually where people hear announcements first, so you don't want to miss that. Let me know in the comments down below if you'll be joining us for the Wings of Ebony discussion and if you'll be checking out the Gilded Ones for our March pick. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!